Hi there, my name is Josh Bratt. I'm a project manager for the San Francisco Estuary Partnership. And we're here on the North Richmond shoreline, which is going to be drowned eventually by sea level rise, um, eventually, as the bay rises. These beautiful wetlands that we see in front of us will become submerged over time, and all of the habitat that it um, has right now is going to be underwater. Hi, my name is Joe Neugebauer. I am the Environmental Services Manager for West County Wastewater. And I wanted to take you out here. We're standing right now on the Bay Trail directly uh, to the west of our wastewater treatment plant. Uh, you can see this is Wildcat Marsh out here. Uh, you can't see it, but just over the mound there, which is part of the Republic Services landfill, is the Bay. And uh, it's a very flat marsh. And uh, if you just look over to this side over here, you can see our wastewater treatment plant. So with the latest projections that are coming out for sea level rise, uh, we're looking at being chronically inundated with, with sea level rise and storm surges within 30 years. Uh, so it's really critical and vitally important for us to uh, have something that can protect this infrastructure. So. My name is Juliana Gonzalez. I am the executive director of the Watership Project, a local nonprofit um, out of Richmond, California. And we have been working here in North Richmond for many years. This is Wildcat Creek. Um, and we have been helping steward um, this creek for a long time. But it has a really bad um, trash problem. And we're right next to the school, Verde Elementary. Um, and so this school, um, it's a school where we do a lot of environmental education. And this vineyard park, which is the Wildcat Creek Trail, happens to go all the way to the park, crossing the parkway um, into San Francisco Bay, very close to where um, the horizontal levee is going. And we have a sediment issue, as you can see here behind you. These are the piles of sediment that have been dredged from the channel. So the flood control district dredges it so that they can keep the capacity of the channel to avoid flooding. And that's an issue with sea level rise too. Like um, not only the underpass will be unusable for other reasons, now it will be underwater. And so what we need is an overpass, but also some of the, the sea level rise will like create more like salt, in, like salt water intrusion into the creek and it will elevate the, like the levels of the water. Hey y'all, my name is Princess Robinson. I am currently a project manager for Cooperation Richmond. Cooperation Richmond helps residents in Richmond and West County develop and launch cooperative enterprises. Um, hearing all the data and all the study around sea level rise and how our own creek that we've been living next to that we revitalized, cleaned, maintained, might just be underwater in a couple of years. And you know what I'm saying? At this point, we need to all come together and figure out ways that we can keep our community and our, uh, our community safe, one, and our natural spaces here for generations to come.